Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Peyton and it has been a hot second since I made a video for you guys and it has been a hot second since I filmed this video. Uh, it's actually been two months since I filmed this video. Since that I've actually decided to tear my island down yet again and start a new city core island. Before I show you guys all of that, I wanted to show you my favorite area on the old island and how I built it. So this is my celestial museum starry night build. It's also the first time I'm making a voiceover recording video or a speed build, so bear with me as I make a lot of mistakes and also attempt to record this voiceover in one take. So yeah, this is my map. In my old island, this was very important to me. I really wanted the museum to be more toward the center of the map and I really cared how how the map read. I wanted it to be beautiful. For my new island, I don't care. So this is the area that I had to work with. I really like the two double incline museum waterfall thing. I definitely did not create it, but I was very inspired by other people who did. I went ahead and put some different stones and stars on the ground already just to kind of start, but you'll see, I end up getting rid of a lot of that stuff that's already there. I started putting down a galaxy path that I definitely did not have the talent to make, so if you'd like the creator's code, I'll put it right down below. I started by putting this path all in the center because this is kind of the focal point and it is pretty cool looking. And then I went ahead and I bordered the entire thing First with the stone pathing that you get in game, just so it would look pretty on the map. And then I went ahead and put some blackish purple bricks around it because throughout the entire island, I actually have different color bricks for every single section. After that, I decided to kind of make a walkway, like a nice little entrance to the museum other than just the blue, I don't know if they're iron or steel, iron or steel, bridges, whatever they are. I kind of wanted to make a nice walkway up to it. When it came time for me to decorate, I struggled. There's a lot of footage that was cut because I took hours, hours to make up my mind. And I took hours to get all of these items. It was very important to me to showcase all of the Zodiac items. That's the whole reason I wanted to make this celestial build. And I definitely did not have most of these items. So shout out to Nookazon. Very much so recommend trading on Nookazon if you haven't already because Wow, if I didn't, I would have waited so long to get all of these items. So yeah, I went ahead and I wanted to put every single item out. I definitely struggled the most with the two larger items, which is the Taurus bathtub and the Capricorn ornament. As you can see here, I'm struggling to try and like terraform a way to make this Taurus bathtub work which of course it's the most difficult one because it's my zodiac. I am a Taurus, don't know why it needed to be so stubborn and difficult, but I guess it's a part of the brand. But yeah, I was kind of bummed that I couldn't put out all of the zodiacs because some of the signs only have items that can be hung in your house. Like the Sagittarius arrow, come on. Why does that need to be hung? Nintendo, let me hang things outside or just like give me something I could place. But anyway, I'm gonna let you guys watch me decorate for a little bit and just relax. We just, we just kept on going. So here you go.
absolutely tragic this moment is. I was ready. Look, I had my net. I was ready for this exact moment. And then, of course, the Capricorn screwed me over. The Earth signs were out to get me this day. And, you know, I'm looking, I'm looking a little rough now as I finish the rest of this build. Luckily, I don't look that rough for that long because even though she got in my way, even though I wanted to put a pack on top of her head, Miss Vivian walked into the scene and she gave me some medicine. So thank you, Viv. We'll never forget that. So continuing on with the decorating, I put these panels right up top because I thought they would add a little, a little bit of spice to the build. And then I went back to working on my pathway into the museum. I decided at this point to kind of make the whole entire yard very celestial because this is uh, this is Julian's house right there and he is a unicorn. So originally the museum wasn't going to extend this far out, but I figured, you know what? Julian Julian's house is a part of this museum. He's a part of the attraction. Why not just make a grand walkway right next to Julian's house for the museum? that it's my island and, and I will do what I want. And then I am the flower queen. I love flowers. So this would not be a build of mine without some random blue and purple flowers everywhere because I have too many of them and I just really love them. If you're in need of some Nova lights, let me know because I made so many for this build and I don't use them like at all for my new build. So I, if, if you want some Nova lights, just, just let me know. I have some to spare. So then I went ahead and I kind of made a little lookout starry sign and I finally found a place for the Aries rocking horse because I didn't know where to put him. And then I was finally done. This, this is it. This is my celestial museum. And while I think it looks beautiful right here in the morning, I don't think it does it nearly as much justice as nighttime does. But before I show you guys the night view, let's just go ahead and investigate a little further. I really tried to make the moon and the stars kind of line up with the main entrance of the museum. So when you get that angle, it just kind of, it feels nice. It feels satisfying. And then up top here, I kind of wanted to keep it a little simple and it was really important to have the telescope somewhere, somewhere you could sit and stargaze because that's what the sign advertises downstairs right by Julian's house so here is the night view it is bright and shiny and colorful and tell me that you wouldn't want to come to this museum I bet Blathers loves it the most at night because it's the only time he gets to see it because he's asleep during the day well guys, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I certainly enjoyed building this part of the island and it will be dearly missed as I've now turned a new leaf but um, and started a new island. Stay tuned, I filmed lots of other videos that I'm working on putting out soon too. The full tour of this version of Potato Park will be out very soon. The full island is a mix between cottage and fairy core because frankly, I could not pick. And I also did a recent villager hunt that was pretty fun too, and that will be coming out soon as well. Any codes that I used for this build, I will be putting right in the description so you can go ahead and check out the codes by those lovely creators that are far more talented than me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Hopefully sooner than last time. Hopefully, I mean, there, hopefully there's not like a, a break is, is what I mean. Okay, cool. Bye, guys. <laughs>